Hello students, welcome back. This question is from gate 2006 exam. It's for two marks. They are saying whenever we add any two three bit numbers, for example, A and B, what will be the expression for carry generate function? That means you need to determine the expression for C3. Sometimes it's called C out. Okay. Let us try to write the expression for C3. But before that, let's discuss some basics. C this is the carry in okay that means we are adding this bit and these two numbers so we are adding c a naught and b naught the sum that you get is s naught and this stage generates a carry c1 then you add c1 a1 and b1 okay these three bits are added the sum you get is s1 and carry c2 is generated for the next stage then you add these three c2 a2 b2 the sum you get the sum you're getting is s2 and a carry c3 is generated c3 is the final carry for which we are going to write down the expression now c3 can be expressed in terms of c2 a2 and b2 but we don't have c2 in our answer okay these two are intermediate carries we don't have them in options that means we want to eliminate c2 from the expression of c3 you can see C2 is uh, expressed in terms of C1, A1 and B1. That means if you substitute the value of C2, you will get equation of C3 in terms of C1, A1, B1, A2, B2. Okay. Now what you can do is, you can again eliminate this C1 by substituting the value of C1. C1 is expressed in terms of C. Okay. That means C3's equation is going to contain C. There is no way you can eliminate C from the equation of C3. But all of these options don't contain C. Rather, none of these options contain C. This is the reason we are assuming the carry in or C to be equal to 0. Okay. This carry is 0. Now, let us see what is carry generate and what is carry propagate. A stage, say you are adding X and Y. These two binary bits are added, x and y are added. Under what conditions will a carry be generated? Let us see. See, if these numbers are 0, 0, you can see no carry is generated. The sum is 0 and the carry is also 0. If they are 0, 1, still no carry is generated. If they are 1, 0, still no carry is generated. Sum is 1 in both of these cases, but they don't, they don't generate any carry. But when both of these numbers are 1, 1, you can see the sum is 0 and carry is 1. So for carry to be generated, the condition is both the bits must be 1. Okay, that means x dot y must be 1. Okay, this is the condition for and. Now let's see when is the carry propagated. But before that, you need to know the meaning of carry being propagated. Say you are trying to add x and y and the carry from previous stage is 1. Now you will add 1, x and y. If the carry out from this stage is 1, you will say this carry got propagated. Okay. Let us see when this happens. Say this encircled numbers, they are the carry from previous stages and x and y are 0, 0. Okay. Now you get a carry from previous stage, x and y is 0, 0, 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. The carry out is 0. This carry didn't got propagated. But you can see in all of these three cases, the carry is being propagated. See, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1, 1. So the carry in is 1, carry out is also 1. The carry got propagated as it is. This carry got propagated as it is. Here also you can see 1 plus 1 is 1, 0 carry out as 1. So carry in got propagated as it is. Carry in is also 1, carry out is also 1. Okay. So this is and and this is or. See 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. They are the conditions for or. If any one of the uh, bits is high, that is the condition for or. Okay. So x or y is the condition for carry being propagated. Now let us try to write the equations. 
Now this question is very easy. I'm writing the equation for C1. You can see C1 can be generated from stage 0. If both of these numbers are 1, 1, this case, then C1 will be high. So A0, B0, okay. Or there is a chance of carry being propagated. If this carry is propagated, still C1 will be 1. But you know this carry is only 0, okay. This C is 0. That means there is no chance of a carry being propagated from previous stage. So you need not write the propagation condition here. Now let us move on to C2. Here the carry can be propagated. If C1 is 1, there is a possibility that this stage propagates this carry. Anyways, we'll discuss about it. C1 will be, sorry, it is C2. C2 will be A1, B1 plus C1 into A1 plus B1. Let me explain this equation. C2, that means this carry. I'm talking about this. We will get C2 equal to 1 when these two are high. Okay, that means a carry is generated or a carry from previous stage is propagated. That means C1 is high. So C1 and any one of these is high. So A1 plus B1. Okay. Now for propagation that is commonly known as PI, you will see this equation AI XOR BI. Okay. This is also correct. AI or BI. This is also correct. Both are correct. You can use XOR here also. Okay. But using XOR in place of OR will complicate this uh, equation. Okay. Because then you will convert XOR into AND OR. A X or B. You will write it as A complement B plus B complement A. Then you will get complement in this equation. Then again you will eliminate it. Anyways both of these equations will be equivalent. Okay. So even if you write XOR here. You will just open these brackets. Simplify it. Maybe you will apply absorption law. You will again get this equation only. Okay. So now. Now I am substituting the value of C1. We have already calculated C1 is A0, B0. So this comes out to be A1, B1 plus A0, B0, A1 plus C0, B0, B1. Okay. Now let us calculate the value for C3. C3 will be either both of them are 1 and you generate a carry out. Okay, so that is A2, B2 plus. Other condition is carry from previous stage. That means carry from this stage, which is C2. This was high. So it is C2. And any one of these two was high. A2 plus B2. Okay. Now this question is almost done. You just need to substitute the value of C2. The value is this. You need to substitute this value here and you will get this as your answer. Okay. So I am highlighting the option that you are getting as answer. Okay.